Congratulations on a great win. Thank you. How does it feel? It feels great, you know, to be able to fight in front of my, you know, my fans, friends, family, you know, have them cheer me on. You know, I was able to have fun out there. Yeah, um, there was a big roar. You're the only Worcester fighter tonight, and there was actually a big roar out of the Palladium. Um, that made you feel great, didn't it? Yeah, it made me feel great. It made me feel like I was even the man of that fight here tonight. It felt good. Yeah. So Larry Smith is always an entertaining fighter. Slippery. He came out, he was slippery. But you figured him out. Why was it so hard in the first couple of rounds? Like, what was it that it took you a couple of rounds to figure him out? Um, actually, my shoes, my shoes, they have no grip. You know, I told my coach in the corner, you know, I was slipping and sliding all over the ring. You know, it was hard for me to be able to, you know, get, get my stance right and do what I wanted to. You know, I tried to angle in there and I slipped a little bit. I don't know if uh, anybody saw it, but that's really what it was. So now you know that for the next one, you got to get better shoes. <laughs> um, so you stopped them in the fifth round. Larry Smith uh, has fought, he even fought Jose Rivera, mm -hmm. uh, who was a world champion out of Worcester, and um, actually went uh, a lot of rounds with him. Mm -hmm. You stopped them in the fifth round. That must make you feel great. Yeah, it makes me feel great. You know, I came into this fight knowing that, you know, he has a lot of experience, you know, a bunch of fights, fought a lot of, you know, great opposition. So, you know, he knows what it's like there to be in, you know, with a veteran and, you know, how to how to fight, you know, how to, be, how to survive. So, you know, I felt good to be in there. Hey, congratulations. It was a great win. Thank right, you. Thank you. Carlos, you came out victorious again tonight. You are now 7-0. and How does it feel to be undefeated? It feels good, man. I just, I'd like to thank God for the opportunity that he gave me tonight and I'm a promoter here. And it feels good to be able to tell a person that I, I, I talk with my hands. They, they can do all that talking in the press conference. I, I let my, my fighting do the talking. So that was my next question. Um, I asked them, how is he going to deal with a fighter that you that's used to having a one hand, you know, uh, one hit a quitter. And he did do a lot of talking saying that you were, you have a looping right and that, you know, to me, I just saw a lot of running around and a lot of playing. Did that frustrate you at all? That circus type of uh, thing that he was doing? Yes, sir. I mean, I, I came into this fight thinking that, yo, this guy might be strong. You know, I only been boxing for a year. He, he's probably been boxing his whole life. I've been fighting his whole life, so he got more experience. I'm gonna have to box him a little bit. And when I start, when I go, when the fight starts, and I see him running around, I'm doing the hunt, and I'm like, wait, isn't this guy? Like, this this talking stuff is just, you know, this internet stuff is different, yo. It's, it's not me. So it did frustrate me. Absolutely, I know it did. I could tell. But, you know, you got to him, six round, you delivered a bro where he quit it. Like, that one hitter quitter, once again, proven by Carlos Gonzalez. Like you said, it was a wrap after that. You did the talking in the ring. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, I, I caught a flush to the body. I was hit. I was hurting him in the body the whole fight. But uh, he was a tough guy. I, I was hurting him in the body. I know he... What, stood, what kept him in there was his will. Just because he was talking so much, he wanted to like back it up, you know what I mean? So that's what stood him in there, but he was out of there by the fourth round. And when I caught him flush to the body with that left, as we were close, the ref thought it was a slip, but I told him, no, no, ask him. I caught him flush right, right, flush right to the shoulder plate, and he didn't get up from that. Yeah, it was, it was a wrap. So, once again, congratulations, and I'm pretty sure we'll see you very soon again. Denzel, yeah. I see you have new jewelry. So I blinked and I didn't see what happened. 25 seconds hasn't been done here in the Palladium now. 
I missed it. Tell me what happened. Hey, I, I seen I seen when I threw the uh, the first faint. He stepped to his uh, right and dropped his right hand. So I threw it again and threw the left hand. It landed perfect. Straight missile. It was a wrap. Like I said, I blinked. I didn't see it. So now I know what happened. So it wasn't for the New England title. It was for another strap. How does it feel to have two of them now? Hey, man, like you said, I like new jewelry. So it feels great. <laughs> so what's next for the Humble Wave? Uh, I'm doing 10 rounds now. I'm stepping up to 10 rounds, bigger fights, longer distance, hopefully getting a world ranking by the time uh, middle of next year. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. All right, man. Steven, congratulations on the win. Thank you. You added more hardware, another belt. Yes, How does it feel to be uh, the IBA uh, champion? Uh, I feel, it feels really good. It feels like everything that I expected would. So you're from Western Mass, and the roars and, and the cheers for you were amazing. How does it feel to fight at the Palladium in Worcester and, and feel that welcome? Oh, that feels great, man. I'm um, grateful for everybody, you know, from my hometown, you know, coming out and showing their support, you know, being you know, two over two hours away from home, you know. Absolutely. Um, talk to me about the tanking of the feet. Does that have anything to do with the southpaw stance? Is is that what what that was all about? Absolutely. It has everything to do with the southpaw, southpaw orthodox stance. You know, our, both of our lead foots are right, right in front, so, you know, our feet get tangled a lot. So... You fought no tomato can. He was 11 and 0. 12. You're also uh, 12 and 0, and it's not the first time you fought an undefeated fighter. What's next for for Steven? Uh, I'm not sure what's come. What's next right now? All I know is that what's next for me is to get back in the gym and keep trying to get better. Whatever comes up, you know, I'm not I'm not ducking anybody. I'll fight anyone. All right. And lastly, talk to me about that 76 76 score. What do you think about that? I think that was terrible, but you know. I'm not, I'm not a judge. I can't call a score for him. I mean, obviously, the other two judges saw me win every round, so that says it all. Once again, another belt. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate right. it. Yes, sir.